Hello everyone, or really I should say bonjour. Greg? Bonjour, bonjour, check out these pears. Indeed. <laughs> <laughs> we are at Les Villages Nature Paris, which is a resort in France. Um, and we're about to go into the farm here. In, actually, we're going inside the greenhouse. There are so many amazing things. Look at these. They are growing so many beautiful things oh, here. Yeah. So cool. But we're about to try our hand at a vertical wall gardening. We're inside the farm, we're just getting our bearings. Some. There's some cows! Oh, oh guys! Hey! Oh, big oh. He's trying to lick you! Greg, the cow whisperer! Donkeys! Donkeys, look! And um, I could film the animals. <laughs> I was like, where's Greg? So are you. <laughs> Noisy cows. I could film the animals for ages, but actually, um, we're here to do our vertical gardening. So we're trying to find a greenhouse. And the best thing about vertical wall gardens is that even if you have a tiny amount of space, you can still create an area to grow plants, herbs, even strawberries. And these are some really simple ones just here that have been made using some pallets. Uh, and we're going to have a go at making one of these ourselves. We're starting off with a pallet, you can see this here, and then it's just on the back of it we've got some bamboo canes and a piece of felt. So this is just creating a back to what's now going to be a planter. And then at the front we have um, some hessian, it's sack material. And the first thing we need to do is just create some little gaps and that's where the plants are going to grow. So we need some scissors. Parental supervision advised. Okay, so these are the gaps yep. for our plants. This is my concentration phase. Ah, good idea. <laughs> I can tell you've done this before. <laughs> so I'm putting inside a mixture of stones, um, which are good for the drainage, so the water can move through it, and lots of earth, because that's going to basically be uh, the thing. Didn't happen. That's the bit that holds the seeds, and then also straw, and the straw holds the water in, so the straw is really good for the humidity. Keeps it nice and moist. Is that you? Squidge it in. We're looking for strawberry cuttings. So if you look at the long trails, you can see here is where a new strawberry plant is beginning. And you can look closely, this is where the start of the roots are. So we're taking these little cuttings and we're going to put them in our planter and these will grow into a strawberry plant and hopefully juicy fruit on them. That's because strawberries are clones. They start with one plant here and they grow along and then they go up and then they grow along and they grow up. So we're not taking the original plant, we're taking the number one or the number two. So you just cut that off and boop, there it is. You can just see the new roots starting to sprout there. So that's what we're looking for. Goes to show, once you've started growing your own fruit and veg, that's it. You're sort of starting, there's a whole chain of events then, isn't it? Let's go plant them. Yeah. Ah, oh, it's so good. All we're doing is taking our cutting and finding that little cut in the sack that we made earlier. And then we are popping it in, obviously making sure the root system goes in first. And then just patting it on the top, make sure it's covered in, in the soil. Little roots in the hole. Super easy. The great thing about this cut is it's already got a strawberry on it. You cheat. <laughs> I have mint, and I take that plant with the roots. That's it, and, and that I goes straight in ready. Plant. Perfect. Can I just say how amazing this smells? Yeah, it smells incredible. So delicious. We can take plants that already have a root system, so these are ready to go. We can plant them into the soil straight away. I love it. There are so many plants here, <laughs> and using this, you can just make more. And using that, you can make more. And this is Sophie's garden. Yeah, yeah, this is mine. <laughs> Perfect. Sophie, you have the best office. So the brilliant thing about these um, pallet vertical gardens is you can have some coming out the front and then you've got space to come out the top. Mint, we're told, goes really well with strawberries. As does basil. As does basil, basil yeah. as well. So we're making that great combo. Mm. 
So to make a space for your mint or your basil, uh, grab a stick, put it in the soil behind the strawberries. So the stra strawberry root system only comes to about here. Hole behind, in goes the mint, and then push the soil down around it just to bed it in a bit. We took mint from outside. That is a huge mint plant. We were able to just take some sprigs. It already had the roots on it. However, if you only have a little bit of mint that's still fairly new, you can take a cutting of it and then put the mint in water, in a cup of water for about a week, and it will start to grow the roots. And that's when you can plant it inside a planter. Of course, all plants need water. <laughs> That's probably enough. This is our masterpiece, our strawberry vertical wall planter. So, what do we call this? I guess this is a strawberry palette? Strawberry mint. Strawberry, a strawberry and mint palette. And this is so easy, but I hope you enjoyed this little video. And if you want to see what we got up to at Le Village Nature Paris for the rest of our time here, then make sure you check out our other video. Subscribe, we'll see you soon. And of course, stay, stay curious. curious.